welcome back to my channel so this week i am going to be reading the infernal devices series i'm excited and that's why i'm doing a reading vlog i finished the moral instruments a few weeks ago and i really wish i read these books after city of glass and then carried on with the water so instrument series but i didn't i did not do that so we're reading them now and come along and read them with me i guess i really want absolutely no one to talk out the background behind me because we're now in my bedroom and my bedroom is a mess because that's the way i like it and like i don't mean like cute mess like i mean like mess like not cute mess like it's gross i'm gonna start reading clockwork angel now i've literally just opened it up and looked at the map and i was like oh my gosh the map and then i realized it's obviously a different map they're in london they're not in new york anymore so i love maps and then the forward is a different forward it's a different forward guys i mean the same forward for six bucks excited but i'm scared i'm really terrified as well because like these books, I love the more instruments, but these books are so much more hyped than the more instruments, so I'm really scared. Hi guys, so it's now Wednesday. I kind of fell yesterday. Um, after I spoke to you, I didn't actually end up reading anything. I went on a dog walk, and then when I got back from the dog walk, I did read a few chapters, and I did film them, but they didn't film. Like, I was filming myself reading them. And I only ended up reading, like, a few chapters because... My boyfriend's sister then put on Elvis. She bought Elvis on Prime and I haven't watched it yet, so I kind of wanted to watch that. Yeah, it's now Wednesday, it's actually the evening, it's about seven o'clock. I've been at work all day. So I just got back and I'm about to jump in the shower and then read. I want to get halfway through tonight, hopefully, and then finish it tomorrow. Monster here to keep me up until the early hours of the morning reading, even though that won't happen because. My boyfriend will turn off the light in my bedroom and I won't be able to see. I need a book light. I really need a book light. chapters this morning so my thoughts i'm gonna do a little review so far my thoughts so far is i'm loving it but i don't think it's the five stars i don't know what it is i feel like something's missing and i feel like what is missing is gem gem's in the book but i'm not seeing a lot of him like i'm really not and the moments i do have with him i love those moments do you know what i mean like so i feel like the next books i'm gonna love more but so far will is really hurting my brain because i keep just he's literally like copy and paste of jace typically he probably isn't but so far in the book all i'm getting is copy and paste like the kind of cocky i can do what i want do you know what i mean but then also like his love for his parents i <sighs> like wanting to protect people it's just like copy and paste with will and jace but then they are spoiler if you haven't read the more instruments related very far apart but they are related <laughs> but i kind of want to see will i want to see more of will because what i'm seeing is the exterior at the moment i'm not really seeing much interior tessa tessa's confusing me a bit i can't lie i do like her character but i want oh uh, yeah okay i kind of just want to like get into the next book because she's just discovering like what she is and all that and she's still kind of like stuck in her old mindset of like i'm human you're not me you're clearly not human and i just want her to like embrace the fact that she's not human because i think she'd be really powerful also i finally got to camille and magnus that was really exciting camille was it was so nice to see her nice <laughs> do you know what i mean like it's in the more instrument she's kind of like mean 
but she's still like kind of a likeable character in this she is a likeable character and you really get to know her a bit more yes and magnus it was so weird because it was such like a if it wasn't magnus it was magnus but it wasn't magnus do you know what i mean but he did say something he said something about will like he's always got a thing for dark brunettes with blue eyes hi phallic hi phallic We're on about page 300 now um, I'm hopefully gonna finish this today. I don't see why not. I'm not don't have to do much today. But she just got pop. Out. beautiful its skin is the more deadly it is that's what will's like all the pretty face and whatnot just hides how twisted up and rotten he is on the inside this is literally not how they like it's not exactly how they used to describe jace but like that's how they would talk about him like he's all pretty and beautiful but he's evil jace was not evil he was an angel literally but there's something dark in him something black and dark that he's hiding like, I want to know Will, but is it not... Like, I know Will's going to be a good character. I know he's not an evil character, so, like... Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like reading and i was so close to the end and then i was like oh my god i'm so tired and i was still trying to read and i was like but then the words weren't going in so i knew i needed a nap so i just had to throw a nap and then woke up and immediately finished it the one thing i can take from this book that is the stupidest little thing church the cat church the cat is the same church the cat or i'm guessing it's the same church the cat it would make sense but Chem found a cat, brought the cat back, and called it Church. It's the same cat. It's in Mortal Instruments, a cat called Church. That is the one thing that I've just read and now I can't get out of my head. I'm stuck on a rating. Because I did really enjoy this book. And like once I got into it, I read it really fast. And I feel like this book, it was a good book. But not much happened. Like, it was all kind of like... Mm, stuff's kind of happening oh yeah the, all the stuff's happening here but then it wasn't even that much stuff i feel like i don't know it, it is just like the kind of it it's not a good standalone do you know what i mean like it's not it wouldn't be good as a standalone this is the beginning to what's gonna happen so if i'm looking at it as a standalone it would probably be a three stars but because it's just like putting down, it's just laying down the ground to what's to come. It did that quite well and it kept me interested and it wasn't that boring. Like there was little happening, but it still kept me interested. It still kept me getting to know the characters and also Jessamine. I think that's how you say it, Jessamine. I really like her. <laughs> like I'm supposed to hate her. Like I'm supposed to think she's really nasty and mean, but I think that she's actually a really good person and that she's really nasty and mean to cover up the fact that she's a really good person but i could be proved wrong but the way that she immediately fought for tessa even though she's so i'm not a shadow hunter i'm not a shadow hunter i don't do shadow hunter things as soon as she had to step up she stepped up and she protected people so yeah i kind of like her and i kind of want to see more of her character i just want to see more of the characters you know what i mean i'm attached to the characters and that's what i love about the hook so i'm gonna give it a four stars not five but four i'm also gonna start clockwork prince today i'll probably start a bit later i don't know how much i'll get done reading it today but yeah we'll see <laughs> Actually, 
Feast of Friday, so that's fun. I'm going to get ready for work in a minute, but I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm about like 40% through, nearly halfway. We've kind of found, just found out like why Will is the way he is. But I'm still struggling to get a connection with him. Like, I don't know, there's just something I'm lacking. Like, I thought that would be it, but it's not. I don't know. There's also been some development with Jem and Tessa, which is interesting. Because I think it's like a love triangle, really. Like, she kind of likes Will and Jem, but like differently. And Will and Jem do both like her. But like, Jem's showing it and Will's not because of the thing that he was hiding. I prefer Jem. Right now, I prefer Jem. So I want her to be with Jem. I hate love triangles, it really hurts my brain. Like, I want to decide who I want her to be with, but then I don't want to decide because I feel like then they're going to decide the wrong person and then I'm going to be upset. So I'm kind of just leaving it. Do you know what I mean? I think she feels more of that fire and that spark with Will, but that kind of like comfortability and that love with Jem. I personally prefer Jem because he's just the sweetest. And I love sweet characters, I love them. I'm so scared because I don't. I feel like someone's going to die. <laughs> There's a lot of talk of death. I don't think someone's gonna die this book. But I think the second one, no, the third one, sorry. Someone's gonna die. I'm not, I'm not ready for it. Learn more about the clockwork angel that she wears because it like protects her. But I think it's obviously something to do with like, she got it from her mother. So like, I'm guessing like her mother made it and gave it to her in case she was any in the situation like this she in case she got brought into the shadow world i want to be told that i want to know more do you know what i mean but anyway i'm probably i don't know if i'll finish it tonight or tomorrow but i'll let you know when i have finished it i'll come back to you <laughs> honestly i think they've just disappeared from my brain the love triangle i'm really not a love triangle girl because it's really grinding on me because uh, it's really bugging me because i've decided now who i think i want her to end up with but even though it's looking to go in that direction like very much so i still don't think it will <laughs> the love triangles i just hate it because it's so much heartbreak it's so much like one person is gonna be unhappy that's not fair oh, Jess and then the storyline I'm really sad about it I'm really sad about it because I really wanted to like her and I really want to see like her character development but her character development went but I still kind of like her I still feel really bad for her I have like a sympathy for her Will I've started to get a connection with which is annoying because he's now heartbroken and Henry and Charlotte's relationship is so, so cute. I haven't felt myself like wanting to cry yet. Actually, no, I did in this book. When Will and Jam were talking, I nearly did. Look, I nearly did. And then when Henry and Charlotte, well, no, when Charlotte, something happened with Charlotte and Henry like saved her. That nearly made me cry. I don't know. Their relationship and their love is so cute to me that is probably my favorite relationship in the cookbook because the love triangle is really stressing me there wasn't like an end battle scene in this book so that makes me scared because it, this book was more about character development and like a build up but there wasn't really that much like foul foul battle or fight but i do think i enjoyed like there wasn't any really action in this book but i do think I enjoy it more than the first one so i think it's a 4.5 because i got so much more connected to the characters and i just loved it i was just oh but yeah not much action so i'm really scared for the third one i'm gonna start tomorrow because i'm going out tonight i've had a busy day i've been 
I've literally just been reading whilst at a car show and when I've just got home but yeah <laughs> very good job at recording because I was just like not thinking about anything else other than the book. It was a five stars. It had everything. It just had everything. It had sadness, it had happiness, it had action, it just had everything. There's no way it couldn't be a five stars. There's so much I want to say but I can't say it without it being like a spoiler. <sighs> like I knew what was gonna happen basically something happens to jam but because i'd read the more instruments i knew what that thing was so like that was kind of like annoying because if i'd not known it would have been so much more like gut-wrenching i can't use words to describe this book because i just honestly don't know i just remember crying and just being so overwhelmed tessa has had two loves of her life she is a lucky girl. I love the book, it's a five star read, but I don't know if I like that. Like I knew that was gonna be, like going into this book, I kind of knew that was gonna be what it was. Like I knew how the romance was kind of gonna play out. But it did annoy me slightly. Like I don't know, I found it a little selfish. Like how can you have two? Do you know what I mean? How can you have both of them? How's it worked out for you like that? seems a bit lucky do you know what I mean I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna go into the last hours reading about not gem do you know what I mean like re not reading about gem because gem is my favorite character gem is my overall arching favorite character love him also also also, also Jessamine did have her redemption arc guys she did have a redemption arc always believed in her always believed in her she was amazing you only really got her redemption mark in the last like couple pages but it was worth it and Henry and Charlotte bless her lovely little souls I love them I just love this book like I can't explain to you how much I loved it I have them all here so first one was a four second one was a 4.5 and this one a five so they gradually worked their way up but like I honestly, I can't, I don't know how I'm going to carry on, do you know what I mean? I don't know how I'm going to, like, I want to read the last hours because I want more of it. I want more of it. But I'm so scared, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I'm going to read them and not wish that Jem was there. I don't want to read any other books. I don't want to read them. I don't know what to do with myself now. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching this reading vlog. I hope to see you soon.